I know the feeling personally about being separated. My mother had uh, relocated uh, after a very bad marriage to, uh, with my stepfather in New York. My mother died when I was 17, and my mother said to me, keep the family together. Well, when she passed away, my brother and my sister went into the system. We couldn't see them because we had went to Ohio then, back where my father was. And then my youngest brother and sister was in New York in the system. So I had to beg him to go to New York to get the youngest two. And he reluctantly did it after they were in the system about six months. And finally, they moved in with him. But that still haunted me because my mother said keep them together. So that's why I worked so hard. Still hurts to this day. But I, uh, that's what motivates me. To see families stay together. And that's at the top of our mission statement is to keep families intact. My name is uh, Dr. Annetta Wilson. I am the founder and the executive director of Sankofa Safe Child Initiative. Sankofa started because I was monitoring programs throughout the state for DCFS, for pregnant and parenting wards of the state. I did that for 22 years. So we had DCFS to start a program for youth that was aging out of the system with children. And I monitored programs throughout the state with starting uh, and helping them to be situated in the community when they left DCFS in terms of making sure they had a job, making sure they had all the services that they needed. And at that time, there was 543,000 kids in the system. 40% of the youth came out of Londale. They were in foster care in the custody of DCFS. That was 1999. And now it hovers between 13,000 and 18,000. Well, I realized that after working with the young women that I work with in DCFS for pregnant and parenting wards that you just can't put young people in, a, in an apartment and not provide them with supportive services. So as a result of knowing that they need supportive services is what made us to start looking at finding those kinship care. We could do a much better job if we had resources to keep families intact as opposed to taking families, putting them in the system, and it would be cheaper if they stayed at home. Plus, the kids would do better when they stay at home with kinship care. We work with the courts, we work with the community. We do parenting classes, anger management classes here. A lot of them come in and they get here and they get all puffy and puffy. I'm not angry, I don't need this class and blah, blah, blah. And because of the staff uh, that works with them, very many of them say, I guess I was angry. I didn't know I was angry, you know. And so uh, we've seen how we're making a difference. One of the things I discovered is how young they are and have some of the challenges of life way before I had those challenges. This year we had maybe seven or eight 12 year olds that really have a mind of a 16 year old. The, the, the young people was really talking about dating relationships. I mean, it's, 
It's not appropriate for anybody to hit you. And they have a different perception. When I was 15 years old, somebody had hit me, he'd have been getting up. But they, these young people sort of expect it. So we have to change their, their view. And I see a lot of young people not digging into their self, placing themselves, number one, loving themselves. I see young people wanting to fit in. What does fit in mean? You fit in when you know yourself and you've done everything to make you a better person, then you can help other people be a better person. I would say uh, to young people today, put more emphasis on yourself because you can be a great person and you can help more when you are whole.